Hi, Soul Family. How are you doing today? Thank you for all your love and prayers and healing that you sent to, to Willow and I. It's um, really, really hard. As I said yesterday, death is not natural to me and I don't understand it and I'll never be okay with it, ever. So uh, I'm just trying to keep myself, I don't know, balanced, I guess. And uh, the best way to do that is just to help other people. So, you know, the grief never goes away, right? It gets less painful, but right now it's fucking horrible. So, I'm going to do a reading with the deck I haven't done anything with in a really long time. It's the Nature Speak Oracle. It's interesting. I'm getting... Uh, I just got a, uh, a question, you know, your next vacation, sun or snow? And I heard in my head, snow. I thought, oh, that's interesting. So, um, the items to choose from. I love my cat. May all your fantasies come true. I think I'm going to put these together as a pair for my friend Irene. And then forward movement, strong, steady, grounded. This can be assistance from spirit. This can be you moving forward on your path, whatever it is. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Two shuffle spirit. For those who chose the unicorn couple, unicorn, magical, gifted with second sight, definitely from spirit. Correct for neutrality. As I'm saying that, I'm seeing a yellow Butterfly flying around. Butterfly is transformation. Yellow is your solar plexus, your seat of, of your emotions and scent of whether you're, your worthiness, right? I can, I'm able, I'm worthy. I, correct for neutrality for those who chose the unicorn couple. So what comes up is Aspen, which is interesting. My friends Tyler and uh, Isabel just... We're up in Aspen. Now, I'm looking at Aspen, and I'm thinking of the place. But Aspen is a, is a tree. It's a type of a tree. And it's talking about shedding the old. And look at the color. How serendipitous is that, right? Pay attention. Those are not coincidences when I say I'm seeing a yellow butterfly. Butterfly talks about transformation. Yellow is friendship. Yellow is your solar plexus. And this is talking about shedding the old anything to do with those things. So this is a tree that, that speaks. It list, you can listen to the, the leaves and the wind rustle and, and it's beautiful. So spirits saying that the aspen tree is whispering something to you, an opportunity for rebirth and healing. Well, I appreciate this, right? I sure want this. We had a death last night and now it's transformation and into rebirth for something new. So it's time to move into the new. Somewhere in your life, you need to allow it to go. Release it, right? Release the feelings, release holding on. Whatever it is that's not working. Funny that we're just following the full moon as well, right? It's about facing fears, facing doubts. They're saying that whatever you did in the past isn't gonna work now. Something else needs to take place. So eliminate whatever it is that is not meant to be here, just like these leaves are starting to fall off the trees, right? We're, going, we're in fall now. So don't refuse to hold on. I mean, don't refuse to let go. Don't refuse to move on. You've got signs all around you. It's time, right? This is also confirmation that I did what was best for my, my little unicorn who's now in spirit. All right, correct for neutrality on all levels. For those who chose, I love my cat. The charm. For those who chose, I love my cat. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Sage. <laughs> I am the queen of sage, queen of wands. <sighs> so here we see white sage, and there again, a pair of yellow roses. Interesting. So sage is talking about connecting to spirit at this time. When I make my sage wands, I am communing with spirit. 
I'm connecting with spirit. I'm asking spirit to help release what is not in my highest good. Remove any toxic energy. Cleanse and purify the area. Right? That's what we use sage for. So sage here is asking you what is it that you need to commune with spirit in regards to what do you need to purify what do you need to cleanse what about these two yellow flowers are there friendships that need to be released or friendships that need to be healed song in the background i can't help it i want you i can't help it i want you so it's like obviously somebody who was pushing something away Maybe those friends that are up there in the corner, and here's the sage down here. It's a very strong plant, sage. Doesn't need very much water. So spirit says, you're gonna soon starting, you're gonna start feeling stronger. Like, this is a great message for me too, right? And for others who have gone through something really difficult. You're gonna start feeling more focused. Spirit says, you're drawing close to this time where you're going to experience your gifts, your spiritual gifts, much more strong. They're gonna come in, your, maybe your medium skills. I'm a medium as well. I love that because I asked Willow when she went, if she was conscious of me to come back and instantly a bird flew into the, right in front of me. So spirit says right now, there's a lot of transformation happening, occurring, inspiration all around you as far as spirituality. So open to the spirit realm. Spirit says at this time, we're trying to contact you. We're trying to communicate with you. Song right now, tell me where your love lies. You got some, some shit to say and I'm here to listen. So this could represent a person who is like a sage and these are this is a friendship that's gone by the wayside. There is a spiritual connection happening here, right? Somebody knows that someone else needs to speak they're probably connecting on a spiritual level. And spirit says, now's the time. Even though I say I don't want it, I know I do. I want your company, I'm craving your synergy. There is a connection. So maybe the sage is the wisdom to understand, right? The sage within you is recognizing a connection. It's more than friendship. Interesting, I love my cat. Correct for neutrality on all levels. For those who chose the iron horse, the Trojan horse, forward movement. Correct for neutrality, I choose that. Correct for neutrality on all levels. For those who chose, well, that was clear. I like it when they do that. And the spirit just pulls the messages out. Love and healing, interesting. Two roses, passion. Are you down? Don't fight it. You don't have to deny it. Are you gonna make me overnight it, baby? Tell me, are you down? So there's something happening here in regards to a love relationship. There's wounds. This came in the reverse. So the wounds prevent us from expressing the love that we feel fully. And spirit says, you're limiting that now. The way you love, the way you express, the way you receive. Not everyone is going to do to you what has been done to you in the past. Not everyone's gonna hurt you. Other people may set out to hurt another person before they can get hurt themselves. And then it's just misery, right? So Spirit says, this is a refresh, this is a redo. This whole reading is about renewal, releasing the past, forgiving the hurts of the past, forgiving yourself, maybe forgiving yourself for hurting others. Send them love. Look, I've grown past that. I would never want to hurt you in that way again. And that way I'm healing. And I'm, what did I post yesterday on my page? Let me see. I was pretty much of a mess yesterday. Um, and I'm trying to just not stay in the sadness. But I, I had to do something that hurt somebody I loved very much yesterday. And so I posted... It actually was helping her out of her pain, but it hurt me. And my message was, please forgive me, I'm sorry. I love you, thank you. 
So maybe that's what you need to say. And I never say it right. Right in the right order? Doesn't matter. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. Whatever it is. Something needs to be expressed because somebody's been hurt. Because they were hurt. It's the iron horse. Maybe that's, you know, tough. But this is about forward movement. This is about standing the test of time. Iron is strong. It's resilient. It's cold, though. Right? But this isn't, is it? Look at the difference between the two. Passion and cold. Bright, colorful, and darkness. Coming through the dark night of the soul, but coming through. It's your choice. At this point, spirit says, you're telling yourself a lie. And you're saying, look, I'm lying if I, if I tell you I know the way, I don't know the way. But we can't know until we go there, can we? Some things we just don't know until we go into it. And this is about forward movement. So this is me. I said yesterday, you know, I'm letting go. I love you and I release you. Blessings on your journey. I release you. So this is in all areas. I don't want to hurt anymore. So I'm releasing it. I forgive the past. I allow it to go. <clears throat> so I'm going to ask for a positive affirmation because I would like to have a little bit of an upswing. I'm feeling kind of down and I don't want to bring other people down. So let's do an affirmator card. These are pretty funny. Affirmator. For those who chose... The unicorn, Pegasus, pair. One is Pegasus, one is a unicorn. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Oh, there we go. We got two, one for each. We got three, so we're going to use them all. Communication. Wonder how that other person's feeling? Ask them. Wish they knew how you were feeling? Tell them. You've just been drafted into a communication army where there's a strict rule, do ask, do tell policy. Speak with kindness and gentleness and reach an understanding. If you don't, assumption will just make an asses of it everyone, including the person who came up with that aphorism. Generosity. I give generously to those around me, no matter how much or how little I have. I know there's more than enough to go around and that the key is to allow it to keep going around without stopping. If I stop the flow, I'm like the person at the stadium who doesn't do the wave. How lame is that? Get centered. When it gets to be too much, whatever it is, I close my eyes and I return to my center. In my center, I have the wisdom and tranquility of a panther. Holding a magic wand, floating through space on a velvet couch. For those who chose, I love my cat. Correct for neutrality on all levels. For those who chose, I love my cat. What's the affirmation you'd like to share? Correct for neutrality on all levels. For those who chose, I love my cat. For those who chose, I love my cat. Two, worthiness. There it is, yellow, right? I am worthy of the ultimate happiness. I deserve it and I accept it. And damn it, I'm not going to feel guilty about it when I get it. Guilt is not invited to my happiness party. I won't even tell him where it's at. If he asks about it, I'll be like, nope, I think you're thinking of something else. And then I'll run away very quickly because it's mine and I deserve it. Nature. It's time to unleash your inner hippie and step outside of that man-made box. Take a walk in the woods. That's where Bea and I are going. We're going right now. Crescent Moon Ranch. Smell those flowers. Hug some trees. You might think you're being ironic. Like, look at me. I'm being all tree huggery and stuff. But you'll find that even those trees will hug you back. Trees come from a time before irony. And their earnestness is impervious to our jaded humor. If that doesn't make you want to hug them even more, well, I guess you're a robot. And our last affirmation for those who chose the iron horse. Forward movement. Strength. Groundedness. Virgo energy. Woo. Vitality. Cell warriors. Boy, I wouldn't have been able to look at this yesterday. I am healthy and vital and strong. My radiant love of life fills me with healthy, vital, and strong cells. Each cell is a warrior. Every one has its own sword and shield. I dare you to try and penetrate my cellular army. Didn't think so, chump. 
basically, it's the song that I have with my profile picture. I won't just survive. Oh, you will see me thrive. Can't write my story. I'm beyond the archetype. I won't just conform, no matter how you shake my core, because my roots, they run deep. Oh, yeah. Ye of little faith, don't doubt it, don't doubt it. Victory is in my veins. I know it, I know it. And I will not negotiate. I will fight it, I will fight it. I will transform. And when the fire's at my feet again and the vultures all start circling and they're whispering, you're out of time. But still I rise. This is no mistake, no accident. When you think the final nail is in, think again. Don't be surprised. I will still rise. I must stay conscious through the madness and chaos. So I call on my angels and they say, oh ye of so little faith, don't doubt it. Don't doubt it. Victory is in your veins. You know it. You know it. And you will not negotiate. Just fight it. Just fight it and be transformed. Because when the fire's at my feet again and the vultures all start circling, they're whispering, you're out of time. But still I rise. This is no mistake. No accident. When you think the final nail is in, think again. Don't be surprised. I will still rise. Don't doubt it. Don't doubt it. You know it. You know it. Still rise. Just fight it. Just fight it. Don't be surprised. I will still rise. And with that, soul family, have a beautiful day. If this reading resonated with you, please click the like button. Otherwise, YouTube buries my videos. Click the subscribe button so that you can be notified of any other videos. And share them if you feel that this can be beneficial for others as well. Take care. I love you.